Hi there, welcome back. My name's Xavier Bissett, and today I thought I would show off some quick little finger foods you can make for this upcoming Thanksgiving. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some Hawaiian roll ham and turkey sliders that we've made, I've made before and they've always come out really good. So they're a nice little addition to any big party that would be happening over Thanksgiving. I will be baking two different versions of the sliders today, so I do have double the ingredients that you need, but I will be saying just what you need for a single batch. So your ingredients are going to be a pack of Hawaiian rolls, a metal baking sheet with some aluminum foil, a medium-sized microwave safe bowl, a 9 to 12 ounce container of any sandwich meat that you would like to use. I used ham and turkey in today's video. 9 to 12 slices of any cheese of your choice. I chose baby Swiss and provolone for the demonstration. 1 tablespoon of Dijon mustard. 2 teaspoons of dried minced onion. Some salt and pepper. 1 stick or half a cup of unsalted butter. And finally some Worcestershire sauce. The sliders don't take too long to prep, so start off by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Next, we're going to start out by making our butter mixture. You're going to start by melting down the butter inside the microwave safe bowl. When you go to remove the bowl from the microwave, make sure you use a towel or some sort of heat protection in order to remove it as the bowl will more than likely be extremely hot. Once the butter is fully melted, you start adding in the rest of the ingredients. Start by mixing in your one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I only added half of the Dijon mustard in because my family doesn't quite like Dijon mustard very much. The good part of cooking is that you can adjust it as needed for whoever is going to be eating the final product. Next, you're gonna add in your two teaspoons of minced onion, as well as your two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Next, add in the salt and pepper as you see fit. I normally add in only a quarter teaspoon of both, and then mix everything together thoroughly. Once the butter sauce is complete, set it to the side and bring back over the rest of the ingredients so you can start preparing the sliders themselves. Start by covering the metal sheet in aluminum foil, then open up your pack of Hawaiian rolls and set them directly onto the foil. Now you're going to cut the Hawaiian rolls in half using a bread knife in order to make them the buns, and then take the top buns and set them aside for now. Now start brushing the butter sauce onto the top of the bottom buns. Make sure you do enough to thoroughly coat the bottom buns, but do not do enough to make them soggy. Usually for me, that's around four to five dips of the brush. Next, open up the sandwich meat of your choice and begin to layer it as evenly as you can on top of the buns. After using about half the meat in the pack, swap over and do even layers of cheese on top of the meat. Then after using all the cheese, use the last half of the remaining sandwich meat on top of the cheese. Little side note, but you do not have to do this with packaged like deli meat or whatever. You can do this with leftovers from Christmas or Thanksgiving or whenever. You just have to prep it the same way. Like I said, I'm doing two different batches here. So I am making a ham and baby Swiss batch and then a turkey and provolone batch. Bring back over the top buns and lay them upside down on top of the sliders, and then start buttering the bottom of the top buns. You should use the same amount of butter as you did on the bottom buns. After they're coated well, flip them over and set them properly on top of the sliders. Now you're going to begin brushing the top of the top buns with the butter mixture. You don't have to use nearly as much as you did on the bottom buns, but it should be enough so that you can see the glisten on top of the top buns. After the sliders are made, let them sit out at room temperature for 5 to 10 minutes. After they've sat at room temperature for long enough, put them into your 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is melted well down. Once the cheese is melted and you know the sliders are finished, pull them out and let them sit for about 3 to 5 minutes. Now while they're still hot, rub some of the remaining butter mixture on top of the buns. You may realize that the butter mixture is a bit thicker than it was earlier. That is completely fine, that's just the butter re-solidifying. Whenever you brush it on top of the buns, as long as they're still hot, it will melt straight back down. All that's left now is cutting the sliders into individual sliders, plating them up however you choose, and setting them out for those around to enjoy. Thank you for watching, have a good Christmas, and I'll see you next time.
morning and welcome to your accent for Wednesday, December 6th. I'm Zoe Weisgarber, here of Xavier Bissett. Let's get it started. There are just a few tags left on the angel tree and just one more day left to help. You can still grab a tag today and make those purchases to help out a needy child this season. But remember, all items must be returned by tomorrow to the main office. Let's try to finish off those last few tags. Together, we can make a difference this holiday season. Your Student Council's 12 Days of Christmas Spirit Week continues tomorrow, Friday, and into next week. Tomorrow's theme is Deck the Halls. Wear your most festive Christmas accessories. This Friday, December 8th, is Polar Express Day. Dress up like your favorite character from the movie. Stay tuned to Accent for more details about the remaining 12 Days of Christmas Spirit Week, sponsored by Student Council. Don't forget that your student council is also selling candy grams all this week during lunch mods. Purchase a candy gram for that special someone all this week in the cafeteria during lunch mods. Today on Accent, we continue with our series of videos called the Stark County Explorer Series. These short career-focused videos highlight local companies and inform students and their families about the diverse, exciting career pathways available within Stark County companies. Let's watch. Hi, I'm LaCasia Williams at Junior Alliance High School. I'm at Mac Trailer today. We are going to look at some high demand jobs. We are growing constantly. It's a good opportunity to find something that you love to do. And when you love something, it's not work. It's an opportunity for you to really get recognized for what you do and enjoy what you do every day. Went to college for a couple years and decided it wasn't for me. Came to Mac and I've been here for nine years now. Definitely research the company, know what their product is, know what their service is, as well as come with questions. I think that is usually like the biggest red flag to me if someone doesn't have any questions about something they think about doing for long term. See the full video at headpartner.org slash videos. The full version of today's video is available in your class of Google Classroom. Just click on the link to learn even more. The Tiger Boys bowling team came up short against Louisville on Monday night, falling to the Leopards by 109 pins. Top bowlers in defeat were Caden Cole and Frank Bauer. But the night belonged to Tiger bowler Nico Fromholtz, who had everyone at Eastbury Lanes stopping to watch him bowl his 12th strike for a perfect 300 game. Congratulations, Nico. The Tigers' next match is today at 4 p.m. at AMF Lanes against Central Catholic. Good luck, Tigers. Today's lunch is a quesadilla with salsa, buttered corn, and fruit. Happy birthday to Chessie Hathaway and Michaela Leon. That's all for your accent. I'm Xavier, here with Zoe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you Friday.